guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing makeup on the lovely Simba. Hello. Um, we're going to be recreating the Beyonce Lemonade makeover. Um, however, we're going to do a bit of a spin on it and create a bit of a festival look with that too. So stay tuned. Excited. Okay, so I'm not going to fill in the eyebrows completely because you've got lovely natural eyebrows. So have you ever had a makeup artist mm -hmm. do your makeup and you're like, oh, you know, it's not the right colour, it's yeah. not, you know, um, I've experienced someone ask me like to bring my foundation. Yeah. Um, and that's sometimes. How do you feel as a model? Yeah. In this industry, how do you feel? You know, someone saying to you, "Oh, can you bring your own skin yeah. color?" Or well, when that happens, usually when I arrive, they always have someone that's going to have a light skin tone. Yeah. So for more for Caucasian women, so it does throw me off a little bit in in terms of. They're not gonna know how yeah. to do my makeup then, or yeah. know what color. Um, and usually they do. And if they don't know my color, I usually look a bit grey. Mm. So when they can't get my color, my, mm. my color right, because I think I have quite yellow to orange yeah. kind of skin yeah, tone. Yeah. So you have to. There's never not one right color. Like when I've gone to um, makeup shops, they've given me, they've made up a color for me. Yeah. There isn't one for me. So um, I tend to just feel like okay, they're not gonna. Know See if do. if I if I was a model and someone yeah. said, "Oh, can you bring your own foundation?" Yeah. I would feel I feel like they are incapable of doing my makeup. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I would be really upset. Um, and also, you kind of don't have confidence in that exactly. makeup artist as well. Exactly, because with makeup, I'm kind of like I don't mind because I don't always yeah. do my makeup. But the hair, if I yeah. went to a hairdresser and they said, "Can you bring your own product?" because I can't cater to her, I'll be like, you're not doing my hair. Yeah. Because how are you going to know how to use the product? Exactly. So, um, it's, a, it's, it's, you know, it's a thing. thing. To, but I do feel confident in your hair. She, <laughs> she hasn't told me today to be my own foundation. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh, a Nars blusher called Luster, just on the apples of the cheeks. I'm now using, on the eyes as a base, the MAC Pro Long Wear Paint Pot in Quite Natural. So I'm going to do a bit of a vintage glam kind of look um, along with the kind of festival feel to it. So I'm going to use a Charlotte Tilbury the Vintage Vamp Luxury Palette on the eyes. I'm using um, the prime one which is like the lighter one for the inner corners of the eyes just to brighten them up a little bit. Now I'm going to use the second colour just to enhance the eyes, so just close for a mm -hmm. So I'm going to place this in the centre and then add the darker colour on the outside. So I'm now using the Delilah Gel Line, uh, which is a long wear eyeliner in Plum. I'm going to use the Allure eyelashes in Enchanted and these ones are called Cherished. Just going to use some black duo glue just to apply these. So I started the blogging, say, uh, this time last year, I think it was. It's only been a year. Yeah. yeah. So, because I was mainly known as like a hair model, so yeah. that's where the profile builds up. And then when it came to the blogging, I was just like, everyone's doing it. Yeah. How can I kind of make it a little bit different? Yeah. So just I'm jump on it. Yeah. So I was very much I'm into like women empowerment and kind of helping the community. So I'm mm. into mental health. So that's why I'm also wanting to share across my platform mm -hmm. and kind of the whole modeling, like showing behind the scenes what it's really like yeah. and why it got into it. I, I think like a lot of people need to do that and show exactly what it's like yeah. being a model because it's not all glamorous. Because my friends are like, oh, you must get paid loads when you do things. You must get all this stuff and everything. And like, yeah. it's a long day. It's hard work. People think my job's yeah. easy. So I'm just using a new mascara um, that I got, and this one's Delilah. This is the uh, Definitive Volumizing and Defining Mascara. Now this one I absolutely love. This is also in carbon, by the way, guys. This is black color. Um, this one's nice because it's not 
too dry and it's nice and wet and it just goes on really easily. Um, so this one is one of my favourite mascaras to use at the moment. Are you a big mascara fan? I do love a mascara. I'm an uh, eyebrow girl, mascara girl and lipstick girl. Yeah. Why are you actually called Simba? Because your real name's Simone. Yeah. So why are you called Simba? So it was given to me by a friend and then it was because of the hair, mm. Simba. And then I think a play on it was because of the whole lioness and kind mm. of being, um, people see me as a strong person, but then I see myself, you know, the Simba play on with the cups, I'm quite sensitive and I think that's so. And it's it. just stay, it's kind it's of stayed so with me. Because I was like, do I have to change it as I'm getting older? But it, nah. it works, so yeah. yeah. Simba. So I've already prepped your lips with Dr. Paul Paul lip balm. Mm -hmm. So um, now they're nice and moisturised, yeah. we're ready. So I'm going to use the Fashion Fair lip liner, and this one's called Passion. I'm now using the Fashion Fair lipstick in Naughty. So I'm just using some face paint now just to um, do the look like Beyonce has in her video. Thank you.